Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Dobana to the elders of Israel, the apostles of GMS, the honors and blessings to the elect of Israel throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth. The name of this lesson is going to be entitled, The Chip is Upon Us. And I'm doing this lesson because I saw this video on Buzz60, which is a, a news channel on YouTube, Buzz60. And, and they showed this man, uh, you know, putting a chip in his hand. It's, it's in his left hand, but nonetheless, it's in his hand. And he, he has his chip in his hand. He's able to open his front door with the chip, cut on the lights in his house with the chip. And he's also uh, trying to uh, see if he can get the iPhone to read his chip, you know. And uh, currently, the regular iPhone can't read his chip, but he wants to see if that iPhone 6 which is the new iPhone that's coming out, if it can read the chip. So so they're, they're showing you they're bringing it, man. They're showing you that it's not just a GPS device. It's not only a tracking device, all right? The, the chip has actual information on it. And if you have a scanner or if you have a smartphone, okay, you, you can read the information that's on that chip, okay? And uh, that's what this guy is doing. This guy's from Australia, you know, uh, I, I think he's an Edomite. He looks like an Edomite, you know. But um, you know, th this technology is 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 here, man. You know, so the chip is upon us. Uh, I'm gonna play this clip, and I hope you I hope you are uh, sincere, brothers, edified. You may consider lining up for hours at the Apple Store to get your hands on the new iPhone six, but would you insert a chip in one of those hands to use the device? Hey guys, I'm Sally Turner for Buzz60 and one man is putting his faith in Apple exec Tim Cook between his thumb and index finger. Ben Slater, a self-confessed tech enthusiast from Australia, planted a microchip in his hand in the hope that the new iPhone 6 will be able to read it. He is already able to use the device to access information databases and he can open his front door and turn on the lights without touching a thing. I can't decide if this man is a complete germaphobe or simply lazy. Currently, the iPhone can't read microchip implants, but Slater is hoping the new version will be able to. I still think it's a little nuts, but maybe E.T. was onto something. Buzz 60, now you know, pass it on. All right, so that's the point, man. They want to bring this technology, all right? It really is already here, but they, they want to uh, make sure that everyone has a chip. Everyone's going to have it, man, because they, 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 uh, they want the society to uh, revolve around uh, not using cash, all right? Um, all the information that you need and all, all the, uh, the money, you could say, it's going to be on on those chips you know all, all your information is going to be on those chips man you know so uh with that you know uh this thing is here i mean it's right at the door man so you know we have to keep watching and uh and watch as well as pray so to the next lesson i say shalom we are anonymous we are legion we do not forgive we do not forget expect us